Well, as the end of the legislative session winds down, the governor is pushing for campaign finance reform, ethics reform, women's rights, and tax-free zones around the state. An Erie County lawmaker is pushing to make it illegal to sue a bowling alley if you wear your bowling shoes outside. Capitol correspondent Pat Bailey joins us live from the Albany Bureau to explain. It sounds a bit frivolous, Pat, but there is something behind this, right? Oh, there certainly is, Greg, and some say one's not like the other. But despite the criticism he is getting, and he says there's plenty of it, an Erie County senator says he's just doing what his constituents want, no matter how ridiculous others think that this proposed law is. Senator Patrick Gallivan wants to make it illegal for bowlers to sue an alley if they don't obey the rules and wear their shoes outside, then fall when they come back inside. The problem that they had with frivolous lawsuits that have driven up the cost of their liability insurance. Gallivan believes his law will protect bowling alley owners, but he admits he's getting backlash, poked fun of in the media over a law some perceive as ridiculous. At first it sounds foolish, but when you look at the frivolous lawsuits in our society, when you look at the fact that New York State has twice as many lawsuits on average as the rest of the country, this is one small thing that can help cut down on the lawsuits, cut down on the cost of doing business, and ultimately cut down on the cost of polling for the consumer. The senator says when it comes to his constituents, there's no such thing as bad timing, despite what other lawmakers may think is a priority. How do you handle the criticism that this is the wrong time of year and a year that's been laden with corruption in the legislature to introduce a bill like this? Well, I think elected officials have a responsibility to properly represent their constituents, all constituents and try, if appropriate, to resolve problems legislatively, no matter how big or small. Now, this legislation stands in a Senate committee, and it has the support of one Assembly member. Senator Galvan says he would like to see it passed this year. Greg? All right, what do you think, Pat, if you had to handicap it? Are the odds are that it might get passed, or does it wind up in the gutter? Well, who knows? It does have assembly support, so I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Only four weeks left now in the legislative session. All right. I never take it as a good sign when the uh, senator laughs at his own answer when they ask him to justify the bill. All right. That's thank right. you very much. He stands by it. Yeah, okay. Well, that's good. Good for him. He should have the uh, courage of his convictions. That's uh, it for you. Thank you very much, Pat, reporting live from Albany tonight. Dory.